We're going to solve for these two trigonomic values given cotan and the fact that we are in quadrant 2 here. In quadrant 2, let's see, we uh, when to solve these we need an x and a y and a r. In quadrant 2, x is negative, y is positive, and r is always positive. So I'm merely going to just rewrite um, this as cotan is x over y. Okay, so we have our x and y. Our x is negative square root of 13. Our y is 6. And we merely need our r. And we're going to use x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So we have negative square root of 13 squared plus 6 squared equals r squared. Now this will be 13 plus 36 equals r squared. This equals 49. Oh, that's nice. So r is going to be square root of 49. If you take square root of both sides. Since r is always positive, our r is going to be uh, 7. So cotan, let's see. So cosecant, let's do sine first. Sine is y over r. So our y happens to be 6 and our r happens to be 7. All right? And then cosecant is just the reciprocal r over y. So that's just going to be 7 over 6. Okay? The next one is very similar. Uh, we're in quadrant 3. In quadrant 3, our x is negative, our y is negative, and our r is going to always be positive. So tan is y over x. That means it's going to be negative 1, and y is going to be negative 3. The reason they wrote this as positive because two negatives make a positive. Now secant is r over x, and cotan is just a reciprocal of tan, which is x over y. So we can do that one. We're just going to flip that. It's going to be 3 over 1, which equals 3. Um, to get my r, I'm just going to merely use x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So we're going to get 3 squared plus 1 squared equals r squared. So 10 equals r squared. So r is going to be, when you take the square root of both sides, is just going to be square root of 10. And r is always positive. So just fill this out. We get square root of 10 over x, which is negative 1, which equals negative square root of 10. And that's all. Thank you. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.